Ricky Galindo Jr. asks, how long before the scores reflect the recruiting talent at Texas State? I feel like we're, we're starting to see some of that bear a little bit of fruit this year. We're seeing yeah. some young guys make some plays, but uh, I think we also understand how far behind they were. They were behind because they've got to churn that roster. Yeah. They've got to get, like, all due respect, uh, there's no way to really say this without being mean, but basically, if you look at the Texas State roster, it is a, a roster comprised of two types of p players. Kids who are too young to be to be consistent contributors and guys who probably aren't FBS players. That's probably the, that's the bottom line. Of yeah. it. And so, look, I think it's going to take Everett Withers two or three recruiting cycles to get this thing moving. Um, I think he's going about it in the right way. I think that he's recruiting uh, pretty solidly for a program in the Sun Belt, yeah. and it should start to reflect. It should start to uh, to be reflective. Um, you know, you'd in, hope in next year. The yeah. Sun Belt is such a volatile conference. There mm -hmm. are games to be won because of how quickly things change. You would hope that the talent starts to put things together next year. Yes. I don't know if that's gonna it's gonna happen that quickly. I, I really don't. I, I it may take a little bit. Uh, it may take a little bit. Um, more time but i i trust that he can do it i'll say that yeah I th yeah i think he's a really good coach yes